Hi everyone, Alex Tardy here, Meteorologist National Weather Service. Here's an update of our climate and the next Pacific storm to bring rain, wind, and snow to Southern California. It's been a very wet year so far, much above the 30-year average. The next storm is expected to be significant, but not um, as strong as the last storm. Okay, the main impact is expected to be Wednesday and Thursday. The ground is saturated. We're looking at another atmospheric river for Wednesday morning in Southern California. This means wind, this means widespread rain and snow in the mountain. Uh, it looks like the precipitation generally a half inch to an inch widespread. Now the mountains will see between one and two inches of water. A lot of that's going to be snow especially above and at 6,000 feet, where we'll see several inches up to a foot. Now the rainfall rates will be briefly heavy, it looks like Wednesday morning. We're gonna see some runoff as a result into our rivers and creeks, not as intense as the storm we saw last week, but still some impacts such as mud and rock slides. Uh, we got snow melting, saturated ground, rain coming down on it. So those impacts will continue. We're not done with storms. It looks like the next storm is on the horizon and will impact us in April, the 5th and 6th. All right, here's a look at the precipitation for this water year compared to the 30 year averages. Take a look at the climate site closest to you. Some of these stations aren't at their final numbers to date as asterisk on here. San Diego, just over 13 inches for this water year starting October. Normal is 9.8. Palomar Mountain, 55 inches of water. Normal is about 30. So we are approaching one and a half to two times as much compared to a normal full year. This is what it looks like on a map. Since January, really wet, one and a half, two times. But even since the start of the water year, same thing, Central Southwest California in the purple and shaded areas, one and a half to two times as wet as normal. Why? Uh, well, you can look at the atmospheric rivers and the Pacific storms. Multiple atmospheric rivers and multiple Pacific storms that have impacted our region. In fact, uh, there has been 12 of them just for Southern California. All right, it's really greening up across Southern California thanks to all that rain and the mountain snow. It's been cooler than average though, especially since January. Several degrees below average in Southern California, especially the mountains where all that snowpack has been occurring. If you look at the prior forecast for this winter, take a look at the predicted winter precipitation and temperature. Left hand side is the probability of normal. Right hand side is the probability of precipitation being above average or below average and temperature above or below. The forecast was for the highest probability to be below average precipitation and above average temperature December through February. What occurred December through February? Well, precipitation was very wet most of the state, especially central and southwest California, one and a half to two times. Not the wettest on record for December through February, most of the state, but still top 25%. Now for temperature, it has also been cooler than average across the southwest part of California, especially as discussed before in our mountains. Not the coldest in our mountains, but still top 10% in some of our mountain locations. If we look at the snowpack, that's been the story of the year. Compared to normal, it is two to three times, including Southern California mountains, where there's 50 inches of water at 9,600 feet. Some of the Sierra Nevada, between 80 and 100 inches of water. So the snowpack is record. Central Southern Sierra Nevada snowpack. It's now exceeding the El Nino year of 82-83. Record snowpack, two to three times as wet. If you look at Mammoth Mountain snowfall examples and you compare it to 
whether it was La Nina or El Nino. They are now one and a half inches from breaking an all-time record, and it exceeds the La Nina of 2010-11 and La Nina 2016-17, and easily exceeds the El Nino years. The water supply has jumped significantly. Most of the major reservoirs are now up to 80-90%, with releases being made to allow for that snowmelt storage. The Big Bear Lake area, the lake has risen 7 feet, it's still down 10, but it's risen 7. The San Diego reservoirs are really starting to start finally take in water, and they're a little bit over 50% full. Just the last two weeks, 50,000 acre feet has flown into those smaller reservoirs. Okay, what's the next storm on track? It starts off strong on Tuesday, but it's going to weaken as it moves through Southern California. But we still get in that red line, which is the storm track jet stream. By the time we get into Thursday, the storm is just to our east, so we're on the back side of it, and showers will taper off on Thursday. The next storm looks to take a similar path, bringing the red line of the jet stream into Southern California by April 5th and 6th. Okay, for this storm coming in now, it is an atmospheric river, and it's expected to move into Orange County, San Bernardino Mountains, Wednesday morning. It'll weaken though and become more narrow as it slides through San Diego County. So that means less precipitation as you go further south, more as you go to the north. If we look at precipitation then, the forecast, you can see because the storm is stronger and more impactful then across central northern California, and you can even see the LA area is expected to get more rain than San Diego for what has just been described with the weakening system. The latest forecast looks like this, still widespread one to one and a half inches of rain in the San Bernardino Mountains, a lot of that snow above 5,500 feet. And then for the metro areas along the coast, generally a half to an inch widespread from two weather systems, one coming in Wednesday morning and then another one Wednesday night and Thursday morning. We are looking at some rises on our creeks, streams, and even rivers because the ground is saturated. And even though rainfall is not expected to be excessive, it still will respond in our creeks. Snowfall, though nothing like what we've seen in the month of March so far, we're still expecting several inches of snow at 5,000 to 6,000 feet and up around a foot as you get up around 7,000 feet. The wind is expected to be less than what we dealt with last week, but still breezy conditions for the coast and valley and windy conditions for the mountain and desert slopes. Primarily the wind will be Tuesday and Tuesday night as the weather system moves through early Wednesday. The outlook that looks to be another storm on the horizon expected to arrive April 5th or 6th. So continued below average probability for temperatures in all the west and above average precipitation as shown here in the outlook. You can monitor weather conditions at weather.gov and you can get the latest alerts on there as well. You can monitor rainfall and wind speeds and temperature at the links provided.